specifically human, or most people think it's specifically human, it's actually just because we're primates, right? A lot of that stuff. Uh, and that's really fascinating. Um, and it's humbling, right? Because a lot of humans think we are the end all be all of everything. And then you go out and hang out with some, you know, orangutans or macaque monkeys. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. These are pretty cool. Or, you know, whales or, you know, dolphins. There's octopus. You know, there's so many amazing organisms. So comparison is really important. Octopus is a good example of this, too, because humans and octopuses, it should be octopi, but it is octopus. This is correct. Um, human and octopuses share a wide range of overlap in some behavioral and sensory dynamics, but our bodies are radically different. Our lives are different and our evolutionary histories are different. So that convergence is, is really interesting. So differences and similarities. And the last thing I'm rambling on here, but, you know, people forget that evolution is really characterized by two things. One is continuities, right? The connections between all life. And two is discontinuities, the distinct patterns uh, of, of certain lineages. And so to really do evolutionary work, you have to both study the continuities and the discontinuities. You can't pick one or the other.